Welcome to day 34. Um, I just left <clears throat> uh, Kennedy Meadows and got my permit stamped. And now I hiked out alone, which is kind of sad, but this is really the best decision for me to hike out by myself and do my own mileage. Um, so today's going to be an interesting day. <laughs> Cause it's not going to be very emotionally pleasant for me but so goes the trail there always are days like this on trail and i'll get over it and it'll be fine um my goal today is to do possibly 35 miles i don't know how reasonable that is though i don't particularly want to do that many miles but a snowstorm is coming on, possible snowstorm, <laughs> is coming on Wednesday, sorry, Monday. And so if I don't get to Mount Whitney on Sunday and hike up and down it, and hopefully <coughs> also over Forester Pass, then I might not get to do Whitney because I don't particularly want to climb a 14er when it just got snowed on and also I don't have my ice axe with me so I don't know I'm by myself and I don't usually take as many risks when I'm hiking alone so it's not really worth it to me um, but I would still like to do it so we'll see if I can do 35 today 30 tomorrow and then the 18 up and over Whitney and back down, and then <laughs> another 10 over Forrester. <laughs> it's gonna be a um, very hard couple days, that's for sure, physically too. So, wish me much luck, because I'm gonna fucking need it. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. I got my bear can. Oh my god, that's gonna fall out. My bear can in Kennedy Meadows. New socks and new shoes. I'm all set. Ready to go. Look, it's a little teardrop of sap. It's so cool. This marmot wants this marmot wants to steal my stuff. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to day 35. I did 28.6 miles yesterday and camped at Death Canyon Creek, I believe it's called, down there. Um, camped with a bunch of people, so I was much happier by the time it was afternoon time. Um, and kind of glad that I'm hiking alone because then I could do the miles I want and um, wake up when I want and not feel like I have to wait for anyone. Um, so today the goal is 25-ish, maybe a little more if I can get a little more out, but 25 
is where I'll be happy. And that will put me maybe 10 out from um, Mount Whitney. So I'll do Mount Whitney tomorrow. And I decided that I'm not gonna go into Bishop through Bishop Pass. I'm gonna go into Independence from another pass. And then I'm going to take a bus to Bishop. Um, I don't think there's very much in Independence. And then from there, I will probably resupply next at um, Mammoth Lakes. And that's as far as I find that. Bishop Pass was just too far. Anyways, I uh, my hiker hunker is kicked in because I'm doing plus 25s again. Therefore, seven days of food is really like five days of food. And I can't really carry any more food than what I have, so it's just better to go in like 30 or 40 miles earlier. I'm almost to the bottom of this uh, mountain, and then I have to go 10-ish, mostly up. And then after that, I have like five miles to camp, or I'm gonna go a little further, try to get to close to as blah, 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 try to get as close to Whitney as I possibly can. Yay! Ten miles of up. I'm so excited. My resupply has a lot of dinners in it because I ship myself stuff forward and my mom shipped me things too. So I have to cook for every meal now. Here's my taters. I haven't had dehydrated taters in a long time. Look at all these cute little baby trees. Little babes. Little baby trees. Mount, 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 Mount Whitney. I'm gonna hike you tomorrow. It's 2.47. And my goal is to do another 10 miles to a water source slash campsite with bear boxes. And if I get there too early, then I'm just gonna start the hike up because the Whitney Trail is kind of up the climb a little bit and get as close as I possibly can. So it's less work tomorrow. I feel like I've been eating, or I have a normal amount of food, but my heck of hunger is out of control and I'm like ready to eat dinner at 3.22. So when I get to the border for Sequoia National Park, I'm going to be digging out my whole big old hunkalunka bear can out and trying to find either I'm gonna make a early dinner and have second dinner later or pull out my pop tarts because I think I have extra breakfast. We'll see. Hello, Sequoia and King Kings Canyon. <sighs> so hungry I made first dinner. Second dinner will be coming later. Ooh, flowing water. Wow. Bye. I'm going to the Whitney campground. <laughs> so close to the turnoff for Mount Whitney, and I had to hike a mystery amount of miles to get to the campsite. Oh, I'm so tired. 
think this is going to be like 35 miles today. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. And then I got to hike a 14er in the morning. Will I be able to stand? <laughs> Wow, I love steep, cliffy mountains. Nice. Seven, seven tenths of a mile to go. Ugh, get me to camp. Welcome to day 36. I uh, got up at like, I don't know, 6.15 and went through my stuff and put the essentials in my backpack. It's not full. And now I am walking up the trail to Summit Mount Whitney. It was 7.5 from where I was camping. Um, so hopefully, it won't take me but three hours to get up there. I don't know how the 14 is gonna affect me. Usually it slows me down a significant amount. So we shall see. All my stuff is in my deflated tents back, back at camp with my bear can and most of my food. It's so cold. My hands are cold, look I have my puffy gloves on. Ugh. It's only gonna be colder at top. I'm gonna get up this mountain. <sighs> it's so beautiful up here, but it's also extremely cold and extremely windy, so I'm hiding this little snow filled building. <laughs> <sighs> I don't wanna go back in the wind. Look at the marmot! So cute! It's 3.50 p.m. and I am hiking out from the campground area. I decided that I'm gonna go another 8-ish to the campground right below Forester Pass so I can do that tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Can't breathe. Um, ugh. <laughs> I took a nap when I got back down from um, Whitney and ate some food because I had time to do so. I'll get to camp probably around seven-ish. Which is great and um, 
I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is too difficult going uphill. <laughs> Why do I opt to make videos going uphill? That's a terrible idea. Anyways, Mount Whitney, beautiful, 14er, extremely high. <sighs> Well-maintained trail, but also kind of terrifying. Um, every time I've done a 14er, the altitude makes my head hurt really bad, but I learned that if I go slowly and take lots of short breaks so that my head can catch up to the rest of my body, that my head won't hurt from altitude sickness. So I feel like I did pretty damn good going up there. Did it, I got up there at maybe 10, 10-ish? and practically ran back down um, and got down to the bottom at one. Um, There's a point when I was climbing up where I just had to stop taking videos and pictures because my brain was getting so foggy from probably dehydration, hunger, and altitude sickness, ugh, altitude sickness all combined so that it just like took all my mental effort just to focus on not falling off the trail. And it was cold, and my water was freezing the higher up I was going, and really windy. And I got to the top just feeling like really delirious. So I sat in this little room in the building that was up there and that had a ton of snow blown in it. Um, and ate food and watched Netflix and just tried to let my body <laughs> recover from getting up there. Um, it was beautiful up there and I love those kind of rocky craggy cliffy mountains. It's where what makes my heart happy to see. Um, but it was just so cold. So windy. Right when I stepped outside like blasted with wind that was trying to knock me over and was successful. <laughs> so I didn't really stay that long up there. Um, uh, and then I, yeah, ran down and my head started hurting so I had to stop because of the trail wasn't completely all down going back. There was a little bit of up too and the pace I was going was not conducive for um, that altitude for me. But I did it and I'm done and somehow I also got a message from uh, Blue Steeler Brent and Sunshine, who I assume he's still with, that I passed them. They went into Lone Pine, I think to avoid this weather. Um, I thought it was gonna be a snowstorm, but it turned out to be like just extreme wind <laughs> or wind advisory. So I am now a day ahead of them and I will be another full day ahead of them if they decide to go up Whitney. So we'll see if they catch up to me. I'm possibly going to be zeroing in Bishop because I have to do a seven or 11 miles off this pass trail to get to somewhere where I can get a ride into Independence, which I will then either take a bus or to get another hitch into Bishop, an actual town that has more resupply options. And by the time I get all that done, it's gonna be most of the day and I think I'm gonna want some recovery time. So even though it sucks like today, technically is a seven mile trail day, even though I did 16 over Whitney, it's only seven PCT miles. And tomorrow will be, um, I don't know, 20 or 30. 20 of it will be, or 14 of it will be PCT miles and the rest will be off trail miles. So it's like, it looks like I'm not doing anything, but I'm actually doing pretty normal uh, miles. It sucks. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm gonna make it a forester pass. Ah, oh, there's a trail. I'm going up there. It's going down. <clears throat> so cold! Welcome to day 37. Currently climbing up Forster Pass. There is practically no snow. Thank God, because I was freaking out about that last night. Um, I'm gonna go 21 today into Independence and then from there into Bishop. And then I'm gonna decide if I'm going to zero or not the next day. If I don't zero, I will be able to hopefully catch up to Hot Wheels by Mammoth. But we'll see how exhausted I am when I get there. Welcome to the top of Forester Pass. Woohoo! I did it. Now I'm on the sunny side. Gotta go down this stuff right here ish. Just came down there, put on my micro specs and my checkers. Now to keep going. Look how beautiful. Go, Chacos, go! When did the PCT decide to be the AT? Ah. Ah. Ouch. Good. Goodbye, PCT. Seven and a half miles to uh, the trailhead to get to town. Ah. It's officially the longest side trail I've taken to get to a town. On the CDT, we just reroute the entire trail. So I'd have to do back and forth. 